Hello everyone, this is Showtime112. We are doing something new. This is our first video placed completely in World War II. The main protagonist is the famous ace Robin Olds. His name is usually associated with the Vietnam War, where he is believed to have been the most successful Air Force Wing Commander of the conflict and one of the most successful fighter pilots with four MiGs to his credit. His World War II career is perhaps overlooked, and we will try to correct that in this video. After completing his flight training, Holtz was assigned to the 479 Fighter Group, equipped with P-38 Lightnings, and in May 1944 he was sent to England. P-38 is more famous for its use in the Pacific Theater, but it was widely used in Europe as well. Holtz began flying various bomber escort and ground attack missions, and was eventually appointed a squadron commander. It is now 14 August 1944, and we are joining Robin Olds on a mission against the bridge in chalon sur son in France. Until that day, Olds had never even seen an enemy fighter, and he felt frustrated not getting a chance to do what he felt was the fighter pilot's main job. This would change as a group of 48 Lightnings was sent on this interdiction mission in the early morning hours. Their target bridge was crucial for supporting General Patton's advance in that part of France. The takeoff was extremely difficult, primarily due to darkness. One P-38 was stuck with one wheel off the taxiway, so the entire takeoff order was reversed. Olds' flight was now among the first to take off instead of last as scheduled. Olds and his wingman started rolling on the runway, but then he saw a shadow in front of him. There was something on the runway and he couldn't stop or maneuver around it. The only hope was to take off and try to fly above it. The shadow turned out to be another P-38 stuck with one wheel off the runway. Holtz was able to take off, just barely missing it. But the other things weren't going smoothly either. His flight was unable to find him in the darkness, so he continued towards the target alone. Radio transmissions indicated the general confusion. Those P-38 flights that managed to take off were clearly having trouble finding the target. Holt continued uneventfully, except for one German flak opening fire, but without any serious threat to him. Holt eventually found this target and decided to attack it alone. dive was shallow, he dropped two bombs and observed explosions in his mirror.
There was no flak reaction and Olds now had time and fuel to stay in the area and look for other targets. He stayed low and after several minutes he spotted two airplane shadows in front of him. Old was approaching, still unsure if the airplanes were friendly or not. Finally, he spotted the black cross on the wings and attacked the wingman. P-38's powerful armament quickly finished the Focke Wolf. Holtz had no time to waste as the leader pulled to the left. Holtz stayed behind and fired two short bursts. He then inverted his plane and watched as the Focke Wolf crashed into the ground. The German pilot managed to bail out and landed near his plane. Olds then buzzed him and flew several victory rolls, hoping that the enemy pilot would see him. On his return, Holt was worried if his skills would be confirmed and if he would be reprimanded for not trying to find the rest of his flight hard enough before proceeding to France alone. He was lucky. There was a flight from the 355th group passing overhead, which witnessed his encounter with the Focke Wolves. That made his two kills confirmed. His success with the bridge attack was unclear. He didn't observe the results himself, and other aircraft from his group apparently attacked the wrong bridge in the end. Only in 1949, he visited the town and learned from the waiter that the bridge had indeed been damaged by a lone P-38. By the end of World War II, Olds was credited with 12 kills, flying P-38s and P-51 Mustangs. He flew combat again in Vietnam and retired from the Air Force in 1973. I hope you liked the video, don't forget to press the like button if you did, join our discord server, support the channel on patreon and keep watching Showtime 1-1-2.